The Bay State receives a D rating for water quality. And here in central Massachusetts, an elementary school once tested for very high levels of lead in the drinking water. Parents and legislators say it's concerning. Our Chandler Walsh joins us live now with more. Chandler? Brittany, according to the EPA, lead exposure in children is linked to things like nervous system damage, learning disabilities, and negative effects to blood cell formation and function. This information is why state leaders are acting. Massachusetts schools get a D rating for water quality. A study by the Environment America Research and Policy Center says about 50% of the state's tested school water had elevated lead levels. Think about the infrastructure we have. We're an old state. You know, there's a lot of pipes that have been put in the ground many, many years ago. Uh, I'm sure if we went around and tried to even inventory what's lead and what's not lead pipes, it's going to be very difficult. The report singled out Leicester Memorial Elementary School for having a tap with more than 22,000 parts per billion of lead. That is quite high. Um, it's pretty disturbing. The district superintendent says this was a 2016 number and any sources found with lead have been replaced and the water is safe. But parents like Heather Van Hazinga say it's still concerning. In this day and age, um, everybody is trying to be a little bit healthier, but you certainly don't want them to have any physical issues. To handle the problem, local lawmakers like Senator Michael Moore are signing on to a bill. It would require all school fountains and faucets be tested for lead annually. Any found with more than one part per billion of lead would be considered harmful and need to be shut off until they are fixed. We don't want our kids exposed to something that they're going to be consuming, something that's going to have lasting health effects on them. Van Hazinga says the bill is a good idea if done right. I think they'd need to come up with a game plan and figure out how much that testing would cost each year and who would be paying for that. The Environment America report also took a look at this proposed bill. It says if adopted, the measure would be the strongest in the country based on their grading system. Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight.